much Shay my friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Shay and today we're going to talk about what I plan to read in the month of June. So I'm actually filming during the day. Shocker! And sorry if you hear the lawnmower outside, but today we are kind of going to be going through my pile of possibilities for the month of June. And the reason I say pile of possibilities is because I am participating in a challenge with my book club, which essentially for the month of June means I have no idea what I'm going to be reading and when I'm going to be reading it. So I can kind of have an idea, but I'm not sure if it's going to fit it in. So uh, I know that doesn't make sense. I'm actually going to be vlogging all of this experience in the month of June and I'm super excited about it. But I will get through some of the books I plan to read. So continuing on with my trying to read the books off my shelf, I do hope to fit some of the these books in. And the first one is going to be The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. And this has been on my TBR multiple, multiple times, even since I've started my booktube channel. So yeah, it's back on there. And <laughs> again, this is following a girl in a kingdom who uh, a prince basically takes a new bride every night and he kills her. And this girl volunteers to be his bride of the night and she is determined that she will survive and she will put him in his place. So it's kind of like a romance fantasy and I am super psyched to read it. I've been wanting to read it for a very long time and hoping that it will fit in this month. A, another uh, book that I plan to read is actually I got these uh, short novellas from the Skyward and I'm hoping to read the first one Sunreach and I'm not quite sure which character it follows but I do hope to at least get through the first novella of the um, Skyward novellas. And if you don't know Skyward, super popular sci-fi, YA sci-fi, following Spensa, and she's a badass and highly recommend. The next series that I'm hoping to continue on in this month is going to be the next in the... Michael J. Sullivan, Rare Revelations, and I'm hoping to get to the first one of this omnibus. This is a bind up of two, and hoping to get to the first one. This follows our main characters, Royce and Hadrian, as they are trying to save the world. So, highly recommend. Love their banter. Um, this is definitely one that I fly through, and they're relatively short. The bind up is not, but the just the one books are relatively short. Another book that is kind of out of my comfort zone and I'm not quite sure what it's about but I got it from book of the month when the buzz was all going around and that's going to be The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Pinner. This is rather short so I thought it would be a good pick for the month of June and it is taking place in the 18th century London in a secret apothecary shop and they cater to the usual client of clientele. Women across the city whisper of a mysterious figure named Nella who sells well-disguised potions to use against the oppressive men in their lives. Nella's dark world is no place for her newest patron, a precocious 12-year-old girl named Eliza Fanning, but their unexpected bond sparks a string of consequences that echoes through the centuries. And then we're, we're going to 200 years later. But anyway, I thought it was short. I thought it was good to get something that I normally don't read a genre on my TBR. So I am excited to carry on with this. Another book that I own that I forgot to pull out is going to be The Selection by Kira Cass. I've owned this for 5,000 years. I think they're making a TV series on it now, but I would like to get to it. It's another short one and I'm not quite sure what it was what it's about. It says for 35 girls the selection is the chance of a lifetime. The opportunity to be swept up in a world of glittering gowns and priceless jewels to live in a palace and compete for the heart of gorgeous Prince Maxim. So it sounds like Bachelorette is a dystopian. I don't know. I'm gonna read it. Um, we will see how that goes. Another book that I'm hoping to continue on with is going to be uh, Sebastian de Castell and that next one in that series is going to be Charmcaster. This is a world and magic and anyway it's hard to explain but the first book in the series is Spellslinger and I highly recommend you checking that out. Another one that 
playing to read is Finlay Donovan is Killing It by El Casamano. I've heard nothing but great things about this book and I haven't had a chance to read a mystery thriller in so long because I've been spinning the wheel and reading books that I own and I just don't own a lot of mystery thriller books because I just don't see the reread value in them so I don't buy them so I'm super excited to get back into this kind of mystery and this follows I think a quirky main character who um, is overheard talking about maybe a book synopsis and <laughs> she is mistaken for an assassin and I think it's gonna be fun times and I'm very very here for it. Another kind of horror book that I know nothing about but I like Grady Hendrix and I want to read Horror Store which is like something about a haunted Ikea. I'm here for it. It's a little bit shorter. I think I can fit it in. We'll see. Another thriller is In My Dreams I'll Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead. This is a book that has been talked about so so much here on booktube and everybody is loving it and I have no idea what it's about. I think it's like kind of like a dark academia setting maybe. I don't know but uh, hoping to get to it this month. Another sequel that I'm crossing my fingers getting to is going to be The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. It, the first one was, I can't remember, but it, it followed, oh, the, I mean, it's the Inheritance Games. Yes. So it follows our main character and she basically gets a letter saying that she has inherited she, uh, this guy's money and she doesn't know who it is and she gets invited to the mansion and she has to compete in some games to get the inheritance and I don't know it, it's it was intriguing I liked the first one enough to carry on I may have to read a synopsis for the first one to carry on but I am looking forward to it I'm also hoping to pick up Half a King by Joe Abercrombie now this one doesn't get as much praise as his adult works this is a his YA work and I don't know it has like a snowflake on the cover maybe like an icicle thingy on the cover I have no idea what it's about that is the point of majority of the month of June I don't know what these books are about I put them on here I'm kind of intrigued in reading them I like the authors I don't know what they're about and it's gonna be a fun time another one is and I've had this one on my TBR before is Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. It's a romance. I have no idea what it's following but I'm here for it. I heard it was like something like a best friend's brother stroke maybe. I don't know. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong but I am gonna read it. I'm also last year I got all of these novels for free. They were for free and I never I hear a lot about them. I have no idea what they're about but I the first one is Unsold by Will White. Yes, everybody heard of them? Yes, and I'm hoping to read the first one of Unsold this month. Then another series that I'm looking forward to continue on and that's gonna be The Murder Mount Diaries and I am on Rogue Protocol by Martha Wells. Um, so this follows just like this, I don't wanna say cute, he's not cute, but just I enjoy his character so much. I enjoy Murderbot and his soaps, operas, and I enjoy it. Another novella I would like to get to that made the rounds here last year on booktube quite a lot is Ring Shout by Peter Jilly Clark. I like Peter Jilly Clark. I've read some short stories by him in his Master of Gin uh, world and looking forward to going a different direction with him and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping beyond hope that some of these books I will get to in the month of June. But I really don't know what I'm going to get to in the month of June. The last time that I took part in something that my book club did, I read 27 Things. And I am probably going to read roundabout that in the month of June. Now, if you've followed my channel, I usually only read about 10 books, but that's because they're chunky. I am leaving out the chunkers in the month of June, and we are going for some shorter things because the key to this is, is to read as much as you can. So if you have regardless of the genre because I want to branch out my genres. I want to read different genres that I've never read before. If you have any short novels or novellas that you recommend, nonfiction, fiction, I don't care, leave it down in the comments below, like 250 pages or less. Leave it down in the comments below. Would love to hear about it because I may be reading them this month. I need all the short things I can get my hands on. And so this is an experience I'll be vlogging as I think it's kind of going to be fun but terrifying because I don't know, like I said, what I'm going to be reading and when I'm going to be reading it. And it's going to be a shock. And 
I am looking forward to seeing how June goes. It may or may not put me in a reading slump. We'll see. The last time I did this in the month of February, a similar or challenge, it I got into a little bit of reading slump. That's because I was reading a lot of things that I didn't really care to read, and I read 27 of them. So, but I'm hoping for a very different month in the month of June. Stay tuned in June. I will be vlogging this experience, and a new vlog will go up every week of what the hell am I doing and why the hell am I doing it? Okay, guys, uh, I hope your month of May went all kinds of well and you read some great, great things. And I hope your June goes just as well. So I will catch you guys next time.